What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel today on the weekend. We're actually going to be working on my truck. Finally, I'm not working on anybody else's truck but my own. Today, we're going to be adding something to the duty, taking something off, and giving something to you. Check out what we're doing because this could be you. All right, guys, see you. All right, guys, what up? Welcome back. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Finally, I'm working on my own truck. It's here on the weekend. I got no wife. I got no kids. Just the doggies. Just a, well, one doggy. She's got a little bit of itch. Hazel, she can help me? Oh, wait, here comes the other one. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There you are. Millie, Millie. Hey, you guys can help me? Uh huh. All right, what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be adding something to the duty and i'm gonna be taking something off but i can't have two i'm gonna give one to you and i'm gonna figure that out as we get on with this video but first off you probably want to know what the hell i'm talking about so come on let's go out to the truck and yeah let me stop talking all right let's check this out we have i'm excited another i dash and i already have one i showed you guys the installation of the i-dash that we installed that one's going to be for another video but check this out single pod gauge mount from B -B 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 banks and it is going to allow you to use your factory grab handle that is what's up that's what i was waiting for because i i actually use this i don't i mean i use a steering wheel but i I use the handle when I get in and out of everybody else's truck, but this isn't going to allow me to run two, two of these bad boys. So I have a dual pod from B -B 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 Banks, and it is gonna go right here. It's not sitting flush because the bolt is still in here and it uses the factory bolt hole and they give you another bolt and washer that is in the kit. Give you a long Allen and a step drill bit because I'm gonna show you how you're gonna modify this so that your wires and everything will come through and go to the I-dash. So pay attention because I have no need for this. And one of you guys are gonna get this single pod gauge from Banks, from me to you. And um, still, how am I gonna decide how to pick you guys? Hmm, I guess you guys are gonna have to watch the comments and I'm gonna figure out something. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep thinking, I'm gonna let you know here. Well, let me get set up. I need to take this off the window. It's just a suction cup and is, <laughs> and is very self-explanatory. So it's gonna come off uh, with uh, not any explanation. I ran my wires right in here. I'll put a link in the description showing you where I did the installation for my iDash and the Pedal Monster, which if you guys do not have a Pedal Monster, get one because it's going to be the best 300 dineros you are going to spend on your truck everybody wants to feel the difference and notice a change with what they just did you will come back to my video you will email me and tell me that this is the best thing that you could have added to your truck and that you were giggling like a little kid it was uh it was night and day the truck was completely different so Enough with the pedal monster. I will get this all tore down so we can put this bad boy in. All right, I'm a freaking idiot. I'm opening the rest of my bank stuff up and I'm like, what, what, what the heck is, why do I got this little SD card? This whole time I'm talking and bank sent me the data monster. I didn't even know. I, I just saw iDash and completely looked over data monster. And <laughs> I'm like, what what the heck is this? Well, now we're gonna be data logging, boys. All right, let me get, let me get my try. Let me get my. Ooh, stay tuned for the. Uh, ooh, stay tuned to the channel for the new stickers coming through. 
bearded Vortec. Ooh, let me show you. Oh, they awesome. All right, back to the GoPro. All right, what I did to kind of clean all this up. First off, Banks is awesome for using the flat cables. It really makes everything a little easier to run, even when you're just kind of tucking it here between the weather stripping and the body. But what I just kind of did was made two loops for the wire coming from my Pebble Monster to the iDash, and then the one coming from my OBD to the iDash. So two loops, got it all ready and crimed for our gauge installation. All right, I'm pretty much just gonna try to, all right, I'm gonna try to be as efficient as I can. We're busting out the uh, the old boys. Haven't, haven't used these ones in quite some time, but I think I'll remember how to take this off. This is a tinted windshield, so I wasn't, wasn't really worried about the material Banks was using. Right, I'm gonna pull my eye dash out just a smidge. Let's see, I wonder if the sound would be different over here. I wonder if that's different. Little tiny connectors. Oh, there's one. The little plastic things hurt. Come on, oh, there it goes. I just, just barely was hanging on. All right, so that is going to allow me to pull this down. This is the suction cup mount that I had. Worked really well. I think it only fell down maybe one time out of the, I don't know, year and a half that I had it. So uh, if you guys aren't familiar with how to take your A-pillar off, uh, it's 10 milli. These pull right off. Thankfully, the bottom one here Thankfully, the bottom one down here uh, The little tether broke on it and I saved it, but you're gonna wind up having to take it off anyway because you're not Gonna be using it anymore So right here you have one little connector Go into your tweeter. It's a no-brainer connector. There's a little, little button right there. And we're going to be doing a modification right here. And, uh, yeah, you can see this little tether right here. You just work the fingers out on this side. And I'm going to show you guys right where to drill. This actually worked out really well when I did the last one. And there goes my tether, just fell right on the ground. And here's my tether, I told you, it uh, it broke, I don't know. Just kinda came off, I don't know. But we're not gonna need it anymore and we're not gonna need these wires right here either. We're gonna shorten the length of them up. I went right behind the dash right here. And if you pull your weather stripping down be careful because there's a piece of metal in here that is like a spine so it keeps its rigidity and if you come over here you're gonna want to pull this panel off get like a little pocket screwdriver or a trim tool and you can come back behind here there you go got these little white clips just work it all the way off work that off and then you'll be able to see where I put all of my wiring for all this my pedal monsters right here and i'm gonna be shortening these little runs of wires that i have kind of just tucked up in here out of the way but let me get that kind of worked out and then we'll get we'll get the modifications starting all right here is your a pillar assembly off the truck minus your little flapper thing you'll have to kind of depress those little fingers down in there to remove it but whatever mine broke and we're not needing it anymore oh look at that sticker from the factory oh my gosh all right so let me turn this puppy around here when you get your kit whether it's the dual or the single you're going to get a step drill bit and allen and also, if you get the dual, you can get a little jumper wire 
which in the data monster I have a Y to go from gauge to gauge. So um, pretty much not a big deal at all. I am going to put the step bit into Z drill and I am going right for the hole that you had the tether that for the little cap. So uh, actually Banks just text me as I'm making this. Uh, thanks Mr. Jaybird. And I'm gonna go just like this. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you guys this. Go just like right behind this little lip right here is where I'm gonna gonna start drilling. Kind of clean that up a little bit. Now, you can kind of use the distance from the boss here on the back. Don't drill into the boss, then I guess that'll be your clearance, you know, as far as you want to drill, because that should be ample, ample room for you to pass through your wires. You kind of use this as a test test fit so that goes right through and then you'll have another one coming through there so once you put this in are you gonna be able to slide another connector you know through there so you might have to widen it just a smidgy widgy but let me cut off all this right here I'll show you guys a little better what it's gonna look like get some little trimmers and this is all gonna be covered up mind you by the Pod. I'll show you what it looks like just mocking, just mocking it up, just trimming the excess here. In fact, let me go get a little razor blade. All right, I got a razor blade. Just gonna like this is really loose plastic right here. I was trying to look for a exacto blade, but. Didn't have, I don't have one on standby. Trim these little things. Like I said, this isn't going to look like anything when you have the pod installed because it's going to cover all that up. But I don't know, I'm happy with that. Here's my Y. Let's see if we can get both these through. Otherwise, we'll have to widen it, widen it some more. Just using this as, as a test, as a test fit. Oh yeah, look at that. Get two, two wires through here. Look at that. So that's the important thing, is I need to get the two wires that are already in the truck through here, so I can't, I can't do something like that. Um, this is going to go inside the gauge pod from gauge to gauge and then you know that wire is going to be plugging in from uh, the data link or I guess the pedal monster so all right once you got it all mocked up check out how this looks the banks team just killing it here it is on the other side uses that bottom bolt hole through there and their special allen that they give you you don't see any modification we did to the A pillar with the holes that we drew, or the hole that we drilled. And basically what we're gonna need to do now is pull our wires through here and mount this, leaving this bolt out. We'll mount fast this one, but uh, we're gonna be reversing the removal process and getting this thing in here. And don't forget your little itty bitty connector. All right, sweetness. We are fully going in. Get all this stuff off my seat. Get all these cut zippies. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. All right. So what I'm going to do is actually we're going to put we're going to put this through here. And I got to feed this other wire. But first, it probably be beneficial for you to plug in your Ford electrical connector so you can get that that thing down in here. You got two feet that have to go down in the dash. You'll see what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna plug this through and plug the part that's coming from my data link into the back of this Y. So I got two wires coming through here. But now I need to get my pedal monster wire through here. And let's see if we can sneak this little guy through. Yep. Luckily these cables being flat help a ton. So I'm gonna put the A pillar in, pull down my weather stripping out the way. See the feet that are down here in the dash that have to go mount flush. You have a little guide pin here at the top that will let you know when you're in. But here is, here's the wires and right now they're really tight. I can't pull them through. So you'll have to look behind here and just kind of pull back, kind of look how the wires are being ran and just make sure they're not, you know, by anything that's uh, move, you know, hard. And let's see if I can get any more slack out of this. Yeah, get a little more out of here. Yep. All right, that's a little better. Let's see how. Let's see how this fits. Got two wires coming through here. One's got to go to the left. One's got to go to the right. And then we got this flat cable. We're going to go to the the I dash on that one. Push that through. So we have three wires coming through the I dash mount. And so you have something it kind of looks like this. Kind of mocked loosely. I don't have this in. I don't have this in all the way. I'm just just mocking it up. And I think I'm I think I'm I think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna put let's put in a gauge and see see what it looks like with one. Let's see what it looks like with one, the outside. We'll put that, we'll put the data monster on the outside. This is a six pin. We're gonna go for the six pin here. Let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah, she's connected. All right, let me go ahead and kind of pull the slack out as I'm pushing this gauge in. And it's just a uh, a friction mount. There's no bolts or anything, so you can put it upside down. You can put it 90 degrees, however, however you want to look at look at the display. And this one here. Let's see. Can we get any more slack out of that one? I guess that doesn't matter. We'll get the I dash and do the same thing. Six pin goes to the six pin. And the four pins going to be from the from the pedal monster. Let's see if I can get any more slack on on that one. I need where is it? Right here. There we go. I need just a little, a little bit more slack. Let's see if I can get this in now. Oh yeah, she's in now. Let's pop the A-pillar back on so it's not hanging down on us. Okay, we got all of our wires going through. Okay, I like that. Now we're gonna have to pull the slack out from that and then we will be able to pull our, 
our gauge kind of up and mount. Okay, pull that slack out. <laughs> kind of push it in. Ooh, she's powered up. Oh man, that looks cool. That looks cool. All right, I'm gonna double check my wires. Everything looks good right there. Push my A-pillar. Let's check it now. There we go. I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it. Now, being how we got the wires ran, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this gauge out. I should have just a little bit of slack still, and I'm gonna be able to use the bolt right here, the bolt hole rather, and get that installed. Let me mock up the forward bolt. Go ahead and put this 10 milli back in. Okay, go ahead and pop that in. Okay, 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 okay. Now we have a Allen bolt and a washer they give us. And that's going to go all the way up and bottom out on their boss. So let's, let's put it up in there. Got to do something like this. All right, there she goes. This is it. Way cool gauge. Being able to have the ability to monitor your EGTs, clear codes, monitor regen status, it's a no-brainer to have the Banks iDash, let alone the Data Monster for all you data junkies that want to see, you know, the distance between regens and compare. Uh, a lot of guys will have toe fifth wheels and go and want to see their distance between regens and and all of this stuff because it's it's good info. It's the more you know, the more you go. Okay, let's make this one a little straighter. Okay, make this. Straight like the horizon. Okay, I like this one. Now these pods or uh, these gauges, I show you how to um, set everything up. You can change the colors and and has a dimmer. This is a little sensor eye in here, so it'll actually dim so that you're not getting blinded, <laughs> blinded by the light um, while you're driving. Because this is like you know right here. I will tell you, having the gauges there versus here, versus here, I really, really like this. Big compliments to Banks and the design team for finally coming out with something that these Super Duty guys are gonna love. Not only the dual pod, but the single pod. If you guys are running the iDash with the suction cup mount and want to upgrade the single gauge pod mount from Banks, I'm going to pick one of you guys to accept this cool pod. And uh, not every time you get in your truck, you can think of me and Banks. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, sub, share. And I don't have any way I'm going to pick you guys. I'm going to go in the comments. And I'm going to have my seven-year-old pick somebody. Watch the comments, and maybe I will pick you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you.